This is an interview I did recently with a gentleman, Oliver Nemiscary. Oliver is one of the part owners of a company here in Halifax called Sprout Dwellings. Himself and two others decided back in 2019 when the pandemic hit, hey, what are we going to do? Let's start a business. So along with the challenges with, that goes with that, they've seen an opportunity. Um, of course, we all know the affordable housing here in Halifax is few and far between. And with the recent zoning changes, they've seen an opportunity and created this company which manufactures separate dwellings that you can put on your home that you can rent out, supplement your income, and in turn, creating some affordable living. Anyway, it's interesting company, interesting story. Have a listen. I'm Oliver Nemiscary, uh, here from Sprout Dwellings. I'm one of the partners. And uh, the, the way it started for us uh, was in the height of the pandemic, uh, a part, one, of our, one of my partners, and I were working um, on a lot of marketing material for various clients around the world. And we found ourselves working actually in our backyard in an old carriage house that we had renovated actually just prior to the uh, pandemic. And we had a few desks set up there and, um, and we were wondering what to do with our lives because I turned 50 this year and I wanted to uh, kind of leave a legacy rather than a bunch of pixels and Facebook ads uh, uh, that you know lasted for a couple of weeks and then they were gone. Um, and I always had a love for construction and a love for building and designing. And um, we decided to make that a reality. So three of us, uh, Sean Kirkwood, uh, myself, and my other partner, also my life partner, Aaron Crosby, started up Sprout. We started it because we thought that people needed uh, an affordable but very well built uh, option for housing. Um, they're small um, but spacious, as you'll see uh, in this video. And we thought we wanted to build something again that was quality, that was well designed. So we put together a great team of architects, engineers, we even consulted with. Uh, folks down in California had been, who had been doing um, backyard suites and kind of cottages for a long time, did a ton of research because that was kind of our business in the marketing and advertising world that Sean and I came from. And, um, and then we coupled that with the experience that Aaron had with real estate and thought, you know, this is, this is what we wanted to do. The zoning change in Halifax really led us to build Sprout. Um, and this zoning change meant that even if you're in an R1 zone, uh, or, then you can put one of these sprouts or a backyard suite in your pro on your property in the backyard. That changed everything for us, and that's really what catapulted Sprout to become reality. And it allows uh, us to, to re like I said before, increase densification in established neighborhoods without taxing the overall infrastructure of the city. We saw a real need with the aging population and um, during COVID, all these um, unfortunate stories about uh, long-term care facilities being ravaged by, by the disease and by the virus. And we wanted to provide people an option to keep their uh, elderly parents um, or even their students or their young kids close to home um, by providing them a backyard suite. So we, we intentionally made these to be accessible ready. Um, things like the ability to add grab bars in the showers and by the toilet, the fact that there's no transitions in our flooring, all of that was very intentional because we wanted to appeal to uh, a wide variety of people and make this accessible to everyone. The name Sprout was really born out of this idea of uh, a couple things. Well, first of all, like any other new company, we started with a thousand different names and went into a lot of different directions. But when we landed on Sprout, it meant something to us. It meant that we cared about the environment, that we were building small, you know, these are smaller structures, um, and that, that this was something new for us, for Halifax, and for our clients. Our team, well, our team is uh, really what gets me up in the morning. 
that in combination with our customers, um, both of which are, are awesome. Um, they've, uh, our team, our partners are uh, Sean Kirkwood and Aaron Crosby. Sean and I go way back in terms of doing marketing, advertising, and technology for the last uh, 25, 30 years. And Erin has uh, spent her career in real estate and uh, is, a real estate, is a real estate agent. So uh, the three of us are an interesting crew, kind of at the partner level, but what we've done is we've augmented all of that with, um, well, right now we have a, an awesome construction and fabrication manager. He's, uh, he's actually Colombian and he's, he's a, a civil engineer and has his master's in project management from Barcelona. So he's an interesting guy, his name's Fernando. We've got Patrick Spellacy, who's our architect uh, and, and designer. He's the one that uh, created all of this and constantly is uh, improving things and uh, introducing new models to our, our suite of, uh, of uh, models. And then we've got an awesome construction crew, um, really led by a fellow named Troy Hunter, and he's been in the game for 35 years and knows his stuff. So our typical process is real simple. Um, we do what we call a feasibility study um, right at the get-go. We bring in the experts, we bring in our construction manager, Fernando, we bring in our surveyors, um, and we bring in plumbers and electricians to make sure that we can hook this uh, beautiful backyard suite or cottage up to the existing services and kind of come up with that overall price for our clients. Um, and what that does is it immediately sets the stage for this is what we can do, this is how big it can be, these are the setbacks, these are the things we have to watch out for, and this is what you're able to do in your backyard or in your cottage or even primary dwelling. So, then once we have all those numbers and figures uh, from our various partners, and, and subcontractors, we, we allow uh, you to figure out where we're gonna put doors and windows and those sorts of things, and select a finished package for your Sprout. At Sprout, we're really focused on the customer experience, and we try to make this easy. Because frankly, I've been through construction, and it's not easy. Um, so we kinda, what we're here to do is take those headaches away, and the way we do that is by limiting the amount of options and choices and sending you off to all these different places to go pick out flooring and go pick out windows and doors and this and that. So we've got um, uh, Scandinavian, Scandinavian interior package. We've got the mid-century modern, which is what you see here. And <clears throat> we've got a vintage um, uh, selection. So. All of these come with different choices of, of flooring and faucets and um, countertops and those sorts of things. But for the most part, what we've done is we've really simplified and combined a package to say, here's your starting point. All of our kitchen material is, um, is also bought and, and, and sourced from Canada. So everything that we can possibly do to number one, support Canada, but also it's helped our business by sourcing local. Uh, so that's that's been important to us. The other the other thing that we do that's again innovative is is stock the materials that take long lead times to get. So we're not held up in construction, and we're not holding uh, our customers up from you know enjoying their new sprout. So the timeline from start to finish is is roughly um, two months for a permit. That was much longer last year, but nowadays we're getting our permits through uh, within about a couple months in the city, even faster, like in the municipality of Chester and so on. Um, but roughly about two months, you can budget for uh, permitting. And then it takes us from start to finish around four months. Um, so sometimes that extends a little longer, depending on weather and those sorts of things, um, landscaping, any kind of add-ons that you might want to add, but you can budget around four to five months and we're out of your hair. At Sprout, part of our ethos is sustainability. We really care about the environment, the world we live in, and want to build homes that are going to last. So everything from uh, the outside in, from the metal that we use, 
um, and the Cape Cod siding on the outside, it's going to last and it's, and it's not going to need to be replaced um, you know, over the next 10 years. Everything we, we do here is very intentional. Things like insulating these walls with a very high R rating, um, wrapping the entire house um, with XBS uh, insulation is going to mean that this is not just a beautiful house, but it's a house that's going to be easy to heat and or cool. So about by now, you're probably wondering how much is this going to cost me? So our buildings, our studio starts at about 150 and the two bedroom, and there's a range of, of options in, in there, but our two bedroom uh, comes in at around 237. Um, and what that what this gets you is like I mentioned before everything from the ground up so not including all your services low septic and well or city water or whatever it might be those are separate and we'll quote those separately but everything from the ground up so that it's moving ready when you're ready if you want to reach out to us uh, we'd love to have a chat you can reach out to us on our website at www.sproutdwellings.com or reach out to us on Facebook at Sprout Dwellings or Instagram. We're, we're fairly active there and you can check out some of our newest builds and what we've been up to.